morning everyone and welcome to SeaWorld San Antonio. I am so excited. It is Paul's first visit. He's going to SeaWorld for the very first time. You guys are coming along with us. I am hyped. I think Paul's excited, a little bit tired. We just had three hours in the car. But it's all good. The rain is holding off for now. And we're here. So we have a very full day planned. Well, not as full as the last time, but we are meeting Julie, who very, very kindly gave us our tickets. Thank you so much, Julie, if you're watching. We're gonna meet her with the Belugas after the 12.30 show. And then we're meeting Cassidy, uh, who is actually one of my very first mentees ever, who is now a trainer. She worked at the Alaska Sea Life Center for a few years and is now down here in SeaWorld San Antonio. I'm so, so proud of her. And I cannot wait to see her as a trainer. Uh, another one of my mentees, actually Katie, is also working at the Beluga and Lag Stadium and I'm excited to see her too. And I'll probably chat to some people at Orca at some point, but right now we're just waiting in the queue to get in and I can't wait. What are you looking forward to the most? Gates opening. The gates opening. Okay, so first Orca show is at quarter past 11, so we're definitely going to that. But because Journey to Atlantis is on the way, and the last time I was here, Journey to Atlantis was closed, but I think it was because it was September and maybe it was deemed too cold. It definitely wasn't too cold. But we're gonna see if we can get on it, and then we'll head to Orca. How does that sound to you? Sounds good. Yeah? You ready? Yeah. This is their new swing ride, which I will uh, not be going on. You feeling it? Nah. We're here for the animals. Well, that plan has already been scuppered because Journey to Atlantis does not open until 11. And that's cutting it a bit close did for the show. You, did you buy like a sweater or something? No, not from here. So I have not seen a killer whale since I left Marineland two years ago. I'm sure it's gonna make you very happy. Yeah, I don't think I'll get emotional because they're not my whales. I mean, no whale is my whale, but I think if I went back to Marineland, I'd get super emotional. Yeah, it's different. But not, not over these guys. I think I'll just be very happy to see them. You know, some Orca looks like you're in belief. <laughs> like you. <laughs> we found a gift shop because Paul was craving some AC. Yes. Should we get Which one I for your nephew? Yeah, we can. I like this one. Because he can play with these in the bath. And it's three plus and he's now four. I think we'll come back and get him this. I feel like I have that, but from Orlando already. I've drank out a lot of these. So we've sat in what might seem like a strange location, but there's method to my madness in that. There's three slide outs here. There's stage here, slide out, slide out. We can see all three. We get a great view of all the middle pool behaviors from kind of the angles, but we're seated in the splash zone. But there's no behavior that splashes here that will get us wet. All the splash behaviors are in the middle. So, method to my madness. Um, I'm explaining why we sat in the corner. <laughs> I think it makes sense. Sure. It might not, I don't know. Always you on this department. I don't know, I've never seen Orca Encounter, apart from like on YouTube, so... Excuse me. I'm really but looking forward get, to it. If we get soaking wet, then uh, get the flaming to you. We won't get soaking wet. If I see a flame you coming our way, I'll move by the way. You with the animals, you never know. Using my own words again. Using my words against me. Yeah, so you can't argue that. I can't argue that, no. I mean, if something could massively go wrong and we could get absolutely soaked, but uh, this music is so loud. Oh, yeah. ah, can I hear myself? What? What? Questions on the board, so you need to ask. Okay, I'm gonna finish my little spiel. I've never seen Oric Encounter apart from on YouTube, so I'm very excited to see how the SeaWorld Texas trainers have done it. I know that Orlando is a bit more showy. San Diego is a bit more educational. I'm definitely a fan of theatrics. However, when you get the mix right, it's good. So let's see. All right, Orca trivia. These are prescriptions, so I need them to actually see. Let's see. Are they mammals? Yes, they are mammals. 
The video is good. Pre show video? I'm a fan. Scientists didn't know that there were actually several different varieties or ecotypes of killer whales. With effort and observation, however, we discovered that there are actually 10 distinct ecotypes, each differing in size, behavior, diet, lifestyle, and appearance. Professional and personal lives to the care of these amazing animals. It's a huge responsibility but the ultimate privilege to care for, teach, learn from, and build strong relationships with these five killer whales. We're excited to share what we've learned from those relationships with all of you today and for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Orca Encounter! Maintaining a healthy weight. Great job! He's gonna go all the way down 
to the bottom to the 40 foot pool we have right here. And he's gonna make his way up and out of the water. because we've got a little bit of time before we have to be at Beluga. You want to go on Journey to Atlantis? Sure. Yeah? As long as there's no long queue. Okay. That's a good deal, right? There might be a long queue. We'll see. All right, we're gonna inspect exactly how wet people get on this ride before we decide to go and do it. I'm gonna go on that one a bit later because they got very wet. So let's have a look at what we're doing now. Where do you want to go? How are we feeling about Steel Eel? The steel big, eel? the big roller coaster. I think it will be refreshing. You think? I think it may be a bit wild scary. Lives. Wildlife. Two wildlife. Two wildlife. Where? You don't see them. I see them. The terrapins. Yeah, they're chilly. One, two. They're chilling, and there's a small fish. Look at you, spotting all the wildlife today. Right, let's go see some gators before we have to go to the beluga show. Blackfield bars. Yeah. Or Blackfield bars, or bar. Only you would come to SeaWorld and spot some carp. It's a koi carp. Small one though. Thank you. It's a big gator. This, isn't it crocodiles in Australia? In Australia, yes. Yeah. So why did you do Steve Irwin's accent? Sorry? Why did you do Steve Irwin's accent? Because I 
because I don't know how to do Texan accents. Oh. Fair enough. That's a big On the rock, like I'm trying to get comfortable. Can you all shut up? <laughs> Poor baby. Am I about to buy my husband some ridiculously overpriced Caitlin so that he can feed a harbor seal? Yes, yes, I am. So twist, like grab them by the middle, both hands, and twist. Yeah, throw it right in front of his face. <laughs> you got it, you got it. You got it. Oh, all the juices. <laughs> slow down, slow down, because now the sea lions are gonna come. Right, throw throw an ice cube. Wait, wait, wait. Give me this. Give me this. No. Okay, that's fine. No. Oh, you're a nightmare to work with. If you want to do it, you have to give an ice cube to the sea lions and give the capelin to the seal at the same time. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, but I have only two hands. I, I was trying to say give me the tray, but you gave me the ice cube. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? They're right underneath you, babe. Apparently, they don't like ice very much. <laughs> what? Yeah. For those of y'all interested in feeding our seals and sea lions, just a friendly heads up, we'll be closing our sea lion video here in the next part So we're going to be closing the floor of the sea lions. You've never seen a blue guy.
back in so maybe you can take the other <laughs> As our backstage encounters it was so kind of them and everyone else who was involved obviously in the team thank you Paul loved it he had a great time as did I as always oh, it is so hot right now insanely hot um, but yeah thank you this field as always is like one giant family I love being part of it even though I'm no longer in a wetsuit anymore and now me and Paul are Gonna go on wave breaker. It's popcorn. Much remains to be understood regarding officially melting. Are you melting? Babes? Are you melting? Yes. Yeah, I did not even realize how red I was. Do have sunscreen on. Okay, this is bright red. It's a bit warm. We're at another orc show just a few moments, on the opposite side this time. And then we've got Sea Lion Show at 5, and then it's pretty much park close. Allow them to problem solve as a group. This is just one of the reasons why they are known as the ocean's top predator. They're is for Orca. Their common name, the killer whale. Kara is also the matriarch of our pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us and take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement, where the whale presents their tail flukes to the trainers. A fluke present not only allows us to look over the whale's entire body, but to the easy to see shallow veins that run on the underside out of the water onto that scale so that we can get their way. Train them to lift up their heads and tails. We just spent about the last 15 minutes 
I think if we go around... Anyway, that's the important news. We need to go back to the seals to feed them because they must be hungry boys. Come. Yes, Paul has convinced me that feeding the seals and sea lions again... Seals. Just the seals. Okay, he doesn't want... They steal all the fishes. The sea lions and do steal most of it. they numerous. 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 Yes, you're right. So we're heading there now and then after that it is the seal and sea lion show. So, that's the plan. Which one are the cutest? Okay. The Sea Lion Outdoor Stadium has had a massive rebrand. Last time I was here, it was still the high school kind of skit. Um, and now it's the Pacific Point Marine Conservation Center, which makes a lot of sense and I really like it. What I also really like is they now have a slide out. That's so cool. Most sea lion uh, pools don't have slide outs, but I really like this new addition. I think it was really snazzy and up to date and conservation focused and I am a fan. Just like the plants. That is us now leaving the park. I just want to say once again a massive thank you to everyone who has made this day so incredibly special. We had a great time. Paul, did you have a good time? Thank you. Did you have a good time? Yes, definitely. What was your favorite? Feeding the seals. Feeding the seals. And I think my favorite was meeting up with my mentees and my friends. And seeing all the animals. Yes, yeah, the, the closing counters were very cool. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So thank you once again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, thumbs up, subscribe below if you want to support. We'll see you next time.